All right, hello everyone. Uh, someone requested a video about how to do 3D modeling in PCB Editor. So I'm going to show you how to do it in the light version of the software. Right now I have a project up in the paid version of the software from Cadence's suite. And I should have a... Ah, oh yes. Here's a 3D model for my PCB. This is a buck converter. It's not super complicated, but I'm going to show you how to import a step file and uh, rotate it so that it gets matched to your package footprint. All right, so I'll close that and I'll just close this project I'm working on here. And uh, well, let's close that too. All right, so the first thing you want to do is have your schematic design. So you just open up your software. I'm going to use ORCAD Lite Capture CIS just for um, anyone who has just the light version of the software. I'll go with a new project and name it something like mm, new 3d all right and so browse to a folder of your choosing and i go with documents create a new folder here and name it something like well name it the same as the project really new 3d so new 3d hit enter go into the folder and select folder then i'll go with piece by analog or mixed id it doesn't really matter Click OK. Choose Create a Blank Project and click OK again. All right. So while that's loading, OK. Yes, here we go. I'm just going to play some parts. So I'll click on the upper right here for Place Part, or P for short, and type in something like uh, Test Point in the Connector Library. Press Enter. It'll attach my cursor and then I'll place it right here. You can click, you can type R for rotate on the keyboard if you want to place your test point. Right click on the work area, choose end mode. And I'll type P to, as a shortcut to find another part to place. Let's see. Probably just a con2 connector. And that will be our header. Actually, hit escape. And I'll place the header 2 instead. All right. You can type uh, H on the keyboard for hor uh, for mirroring horizontally. So click on there. Right click. Choose end mode. And let's see. Maybe I'll place a resistor. And hmm. I think that's about it. Oh well. I can place a capacitor too. So this circuit is not going to be. <clears throat> the best but I'll just place a capacitor in parallel with the um, power and ground connector here and I'll type G for ground I will go with a ground symbol something like a with a triangle uh, here we go and place that at the bottom all right right click end mode I'm gonna wire this up so W is for wire as a shortcut and click to wire up the circuit. All right. Right click and end wire. And for the resistor, I'll stay at 1K. And capacitor, make it, I don't know, 4.7 uh, 4.7 microfarad. Just for the heck of it. I mean, this isn't really supposed to do anything. All right. So now that we have four components here, I'm going to grab those four components uh, along with footprints for the parts. So control A, control E, and let's see, scroll down to the right and let's look for PCB footprint. The resistor RES 400 would be decent. Test point, I'll go with a, I think jumper one, would be the footprint for this thing well not really the footprint but something that's good enough to work with and um, J1 would be jumper 2 all right jumper 1 is not the exact footprint for a test point but I'm just here to show you the 3d modeling aspect all right so let's go to project tab and then click on your page for your schematic Click Tools and create Netlist. 
And so now I'm going to create our update PCB board netrev. I'm going to open board an ORCAT PCB editor. Um, and I think this will be good. So click OK. Hopefully these 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 footprints should be in the uh, package. Yes, I'll enter light mode. And great. And you know what? I think I forgot something on the page here. If I look at the properties for all these parts, oh, cap one nine six. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I should change that to something else. So something like uh, a package that already exists for capacitors. But I don't know what those are yet. So to look at those packages, I would go to this is a quick detour here from what I planned on doing. Uh, let's go to place co uh, components manually, advanced settings. Actually, before I do that, let's see what C1 looks like. Eh, actually, it's not bad. It's a through hole uh, capacitor. So I, I can find something for that. It has a 196 mil pitch. That's fine. All right, so I'll select all these parts. They all get attached to the cursor. And I will place my capacitor and the uh, jumper, the resistor, and the test point. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to go into move mode, clicking on this move button here, quick, and then right click and then choose rotate to put this jumper right across the capacitor here. The test point will be over here, and I think this is I think this is fine. Alright. So let's see what else we have now. Save this, click yes, and I will wire the components. So I'm going to choose a line width of 25, oh, 25 mils. Click and place these here. All right, just making the connections like so, and click done. All right, so now these parts look like this in 3D, okay? It's not the most attractive, not the prettiest. So I'm going to show you how to finally add 3D packages to those parts. So what we do is open up a web browser. If my browser would load, that'd be great. I'm sure that by the time I choose a different... Okay, okay, here we go. I think it's starting to load now. All right. You'd think that on a i7 computer it would move a bit faster, but anyway. All right, so go to 3D Content Central. Okay. And you can create a free account on 3D Content, 3D Content Central. My account is associated with my university email address. And so now I'm going to search for a couple of things. First thing being the test point. I like a particular test point, the red test point from Keystone, and it's a part number 5000. There's a lot of uh, free content you can get here. By default, the format is SolidWorks, so scroll down and choose just step instead. AP214 would be the version, and then uh, I don't want to really want to rate the model. I'll download the component and it would be in my folder with my project. So what did I call it? Uh, new 3D. Yeah, there we go. Make a new folder named Step and then click Save. Okay, so now we're going to show in the folder and unzip this or extract the contents of the step file. I'm just going to cut and move this back into the step folder directly. Great. What else do we have here? A resistor, a through hole resistor. There's a lot of these um, that you'll find. I'm going to take a guess at the pitch. So, 
maybe something like this five millimeters I think that I think that'll work I'm not really sure I think that would work okay and we want the step file not the SolidWorks file don't want to rate this download it and sometimes you'll get the file in a zip file format um, well, of course, if it's checkmark zip, but other times this checkmark is not here and it won't be zipped, so that's good. Uh, it saves some time, but anyway. All right, so the resistor is the resistor is downloaded. Uh, let's see, header. Let's see. If we look for some headers here, two position headers. Okay, maybe 1x2, that single row, double pin, and something like this should work. It's not exactly the one you'll see very often, but it's good enough for what we need to do. So, step, oops, step, there we go. I don't want it zipped, All right, so that's good, I can download it directly. download save all right close that and the last part is the we got the test point oh yes capacitor okay all these capacitors are surface mount so let's go with through hole see what we get <clears throat> The capacitor in the footprint is one that is very popular when you see it. These are all um, kind of barrel, but like a barrel um, shape to them. It's kind of weird. I don't really, I don't really see this type of capacitor often. But anyway, that's fine. Let's download this. Okay, it's in a zip file format and that's fine. 